We are crossing live to Absrod Oval, where the Scott father will speak to the press. I heard that he is in a grumpy mood. Everybody, welcome to my channel and thank you for joining. Now, in today's episode, we have the Friday night press conference. Just come a deal. Now, what a game. Now, in the first half, I was saying to myself, uh, I wish Richmond played Carlton the, today because um, we could have had our first win straight away. The way Carlton were playing, they, they didn't look that good, okay? Um, then, Something happened. Uh, uh, Kitty Coleman came off, which we'll talk about in a minute. And then the game just tw changed. Uh, I didn't think he made that much of a difference, but the tide turned. The, the Blues went rampant. And uh, so happy for all you Carlton supporters out there. Uh, but um, it was a good game. Okay, let's get on with it. Now let's take a look at some of these scores, all right? Let's go to Brisbane first. Uh, now... Uh, round zero uh, has done a big favour, well, especially for me, okay? Because I'll, I'll tell you right now, uh, Kitty Coleman was in my team, and um, it would have been a disaster. Uh, I mean, looks like it's going to be an ACL, okay? That's what the coach said. Not confirmed. But by the time you watch this video, you, you would have found out, okay? So it depends what time uh, you're watching this video, but it looks like Kitty Coleman... And he was looking good. What was he on? Where's his points? Uh, what kind of... Uh, Kitty Cole, 37. How did, he, how did he drop down to 37? He was a lot more than 37. He was about 50. Oh, actually, uh, what happened with this game? All right, it was a close game, okay? And uh, because it was a close game, uh, in the last quarter, in the last five minutes, even the last two or three minutes, scores were going crazy uh, because uh, with Supercoach, they, they rely on... on um, uh, impact and obviously there was a lot of impact in the last two or three minutes so players that were going nuts with scoring wise were those that were touching it in the last two or three minutes and uh, even uh, players like um, Zach Williams only scored 73 okay uh, but he was going a lot better than 73 it just his score just dropped because of the fact that in the last quarter uh, he didn't get his hands on it and that's when you needed to, to touch the ball but very impressive with Zach Williams. We'll talk about him in a minute. Okay, let's go over to Jared Lyons. Okay, well, Lockie Neal, okay. Uh, I don't think many will start Lockie Neal this year because of the buy round, okay. So probably going to be an upgrade target. Uh, well, Harris Andrews definitely not super coach relevant, but Jared Lyons. Okay, let's talk about Jared Lyons. Okay, let's get over here. Now, Jared Lyons. Scored a 106, okay. Now, What's he priced at? Two fifty eight. Uh, that that's cheap, okay. Uh, especially for, for Jared Lyons that can score a one hundred six. Jared Lyons in the past, uh, he's thirty one years old now, so he's not young, all right. But that doesn't make a difference. He still uh, he still knows how to get the ball. Uh, he still knows how to tackle. Uh, in the past, he was he was a one ten averaging player, even one twenty at some uh, some stages. Uh, so. What stops Jared Lyons from getting into this team? Okay, he's a sub risk. He was last year. What stops him? Uh, let's have a look. Well, I went into the Brisbane uh, website and uh, had a look at all their players and see who's available, who's injured, who's coming back. And uh, in their midfield, all right, they have Ashcroft, who's not going to be playing until halfway through the season, so uh, he's out. Uh, they have Robertson who broke his wrist in the grand final, and then he still hasn't done any skill training uh, handling the ball, okay? So he might be a few weeks away still, uh, maybe even longer. He might even go through via the VFL, so we don't know about Robertson, okay? Uh, and then you got Sharp, Torrance, and, well, Sharp we've heard of. He's a winger, all right? So he, Sharp's not going to replace um, Lions. Then you got Torrance and Reveal. I've never heard of these two, so they're probably VFL boys, or Brisbane line, whatever they call it in, the, in, in Brisbane. So the only threat here, or the threat, is, is Robertson. 
okay, and he's injured as well, and not much game time. And then you go, well, that's, that's in the midfield, okay, so, and also with Lions, uh, he did have a lot of half forward roles, so he could be uh, DPP eligible after round six, so you can actually switch him into the forward line, which is handy. Now, they're missing half forwards. Uh, well, you've got Tunstall, uh, you got Brain, okay, <laughs> uh, the smart man, okay, you got Brain. Uh, Answorth is still injured, okay, and Lochman was a sub, and, and Lochman, I can't see Lochman replacing Lions. So, uh, Lions actually might have job security. Uh, it's something to think about. He's in 1% of teams. Ne not once has he come in into my team, because uh, I never thought about Lions, okay? Always, every time I, I, I heard the word Lions, I think sub. But going through their list, he might not be the sub anymore, for a while anyway. All right, let's continue. Now, going back to the Lions, is there anyone else that's super coach relevant? And to be honest, there isn't. Uh, well, you got Zorko, okay, and uh, Zorko is not super coach relevant. He's just a, a he plays half forward, okay, bad role, okay. He's gonna have bad games. Um, you got Dunkley, and uh, Dunkley last year was relevant, but this year probably not because of the fact that um, uh, he's got the buy, and you got Neil. You probably get Neil ahead of Dunkley, so forget about Dunkley. Uh, the only player we had that was um, relevant was Kitty Coleman. And he was in my team as well, 399k or 397k, and now he's out. So he's gone, uh, unfortunate. And, uh, it, yeah, it's just bad luck. So if you got Coleman in your team, what would you do now? Would you would you switch to Yo? Well, I already had Yo as well. So uh, you can go to Yo, all right? Uh, there's not much downgrading. You can probably go down, if you don't have Williams, you can go down to Williams and have the extra 200k cash. All right, or you can go up, all right? And that's what I've done. I've gone up. Now, let's get to Carlton, okay? Now, uh, the Lions kicked 12-13. Uh, I'd love to see the kicking stats because uh, where's my boy? Zach Williams. He had 17 kicks, only two handballs. Th these are awesome stats, okay? Now, he's only 215K, all right? So he's cheap as. And, and this score... Does not actually show you what he was going at. Because okay? he was going a lot better than this. Uh, again, in the last quarter, everything just dropped. So, Zach Williams is good enough to go at 90s every week. Unless there's a one point, one point ball game again and he's going to lose points again. But otherwise, Zach Williams, he's good for a 90. And uh, in defense, that's handy. All right, 200k, 215k. So, Zach Williams, I think, is almost as good as a nearly a must have. Uh, also, having sh they share the same buy with Brisbane, but it doesn't matter. There's no one in Brisbane that you want unless you want to pick up uh, Lions. Okay, and yet Lions is a big risk. Okay, um, people that take risks uh, they get rewarded, but people that take risks also don't get rewarded. All right, so it's a big risk versus reward uh, thing right here. And if you're game enough to go with Lions whose job security has always been shaky, uh, it's something you can think about. But let's get to um, to the top of Carlton and talk about Hewitts. All right, let's, let's get back over here. All right, let's go to Hewitts. Let's go to this game. I want to talk about Hewitts. He's priced at 440k, all right? Last year, he was he was a sub a lot, all right? But, you know, they don't have um, uh, a few of the players that they had last year, all right? They've retired uh, we're talking, um, who are we talking about that retired? We're talking about Kurnow, Ed Kurnow that retired. And, uh, well, yeah, so Ed Kurnow and, and Hewitt were pretty much sharing that spot. Now, Hewitt's got it for his own, but Walsh is the threat. And uh, we don't know how far Walsh is out. So Hewitt is a sub-risk as well. Uh, at 440k, he's a high-scoring player. He scores at a point a minute, okay? So he's, he scores really well. But he's got that sub-risk, so I'd, I'd avoid Hewitt, all right. Um, anyone else at Carlton? Uh, well, there's Patrick Cripps, all right. So that's another avoid, okay. So Patrick Cripps, his price is 545k. Now, forget it, okay. He's uh, too expensive. Uh, if it was 450k, I'll still avoid him, okay. So uh, 545k, I'm not interested. 
Um, and going down, there's only Zach Williams. There's Saad. Uh, again, he's not doing much. And, and they actually lost the kickings down to Zach Williams. So Williams has got all the kickings. And there's pretty much no one else. Actually, there is one boy. All right, I missed him. Where is Carroll? There's Jack Carroll. 123k. And uh, let's see how he played. I think he had about 10 touches. Uh, job security very shaky, all right? So um, uh, not guaranteed to play seven games. Uh, he was also the sub, okay? He got subbed on for Dockery. So uh, he didn't have much time on ground. 35, are you kidding me? 35% time on ground, he scored a 65. That's a quarter and a half. Actually, that's, that's insane, okay? Kick the goal. Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's good scoring. I mean... That, as I said, it was a sub, so it's a sub risk. Uh, but if a sub can score 65 every week, it's not bad. But we're going to fit him. You've got so much players in your midfield bench you can start with. So I'd say Carroll, uh, probably a pass. And that's about it. I mean, Dockery got injured, but no one's got Dockery anymore. Uh, yeah, that's that's all we have for the, for the Carlton team. Now, the problem with this game, uh, Carlton and the Lions, uh there isn't many super coach relevant players to talk about, okay? So it's not going to be a very long episode. Just come down. I'm trying to stretch this out to make it something to talk about. But there isn't much, okay? Uh, the only thing we, we've learned from today is that um, trades are vital still. And we saw uh, one one of our – well, some of, some of us owned him, or I did. A kitty common go down. And what happens uh, during the season – when a player like a 400k player goes down, who do you replace him with? Because you don't have many options. So in actual fact, if this was round one and Kitty Coleman went down, uh, we'd probably lose two trades, not one. Because we have to we have to change a structure to fit another player and either, we'll either lose one trade and go down and, and bank 200k or 300k, depends how far down you're going, or you go up. And to go up, it means you have to make another trade. Anyway, uh, that's all for today. Uh, thank you for joining. And remember one thing. It's nice to be important, but it's important to be nice. Ciao for now. That's all, folks.